like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars is someone learning watch this now so the bible talks about the state of man the next thing we should look at is god's standard there is a standard for intimacy and friendship with god now this is the challenge sometimes respectfully speaking with some of the gospels that we receive in the body of christ that makes you just believe that friendship and intimacy with god has no conditions i hate to be the bearer of bad news but let me tell you sincerely not everyone can become the friend of god and not everyone can access that realm can ascend to that realm of depth and intimacy with god except and unless you fulfill the conditions regardless what time we are living in whether it's 21st century 20th century whatever century we are living in the standards of god as far as friendship and intimacy is concerned will never change what are his standards psalm 24 verse 3 and 4 psalm 24 verse 3 and 4 gives us the standard of god as far as friendship with god and intimacy with god is concerned who shall ascend into the hill of the lord and who shall stand in his holy place the answer next verse he that has clean hands a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully that's the condition the bible gives Ephesians chapter 4. Let's read from verse 17. If God is speaking to you, say amen. amen. Pay attention now. Let's read. It says, This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Keep reading. Verse, next verse. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart who being past who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness to walk all on cleanness with greediness 20 but ye have not so learned christ uh-huh if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in jesus keep reading that ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man. Watch the things he says to put off now. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Uh -huh. And be ye renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man. Which is after God recreated in righteousness and true holiness. 25. Wherefore putting away lying. Speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Paul had to find a way of saying, how do I say this now? Will I really say don't be angry? How many times was Paul angry himself? You will see it in his epistles. He said, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. 27 neither give place to the devil next verse reading to 32 let him that stole before you say steal no more there must be him that stole rather let him labor working with his hands the thing that is good that he may give to him that needed 29 let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers next verse it says and grieve not the holy spirit of god whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption two more verses let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you and all malice 32 it says and be ye kind one to another tender hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you now look up please let me tell you something that um i have i have observed sadly with the body of christ it looks like for you to gain respect 
and to be looked at as a man of integrity you have to be a preacher of righteousness and to deal with all of these things but the the trouble here is that most times in discussing the subject of the flesh what we men of god do and that extends to fathers in their families leaders generally is that we line up all the attributes of the flesh and find the ones that we are guilty of then we exempt them in our discussion so if i have a problem I, I, are we together now yes if you have a problem with stealing and money and you have collected money from politicians when i'm hammering on the issue of flesh i will nicely dodge away the issue of corruption and lash out on things like immorality and the rest and say be a person of character when you are training people to be men and women who die to the flesh there has to be a holistic capture of everything that needs to fall off until people become people of spiritual stature are we together now very important it's a mistake that we make and it's not because we are bad it's just that sometimes we are weak as men so when you have an issue maybe issue of morality and whatever when you are dealing with issues of flesh you will hit issues of pride issues of bribery and just brush away the weightier matters that is how many people have been addressing the issue of the flesh that is why believers have not been empowered to deal with it watch this many of you here are virologists microbiologists how do you deal when they say a virus or a disease is out what do you do you don't run away from it the first thing you do medical science teaches us that you isolate that uh, whatever it is am i right on that and you begin to study its operation you now study if this is a virus how does it work in the human body now you begin to learn how it works and sometimes you can now use several parameters to come up with an antidote running away from the reality of that virus will not cure it when the pandemic came many people were as much as we're having social distance there were people who were close to the covid themselves they had to be close to it to come up with a vaccine is someone learning now so just talking about the issues of the flesh and running away from it without examining the intrinsic nature of man and looking at a scriptural solution that provides victory we will only be we will only be programming casualties again and again and again the bible already comes to the conclusion to the hearing of all that man unassisted by god has tendencies you are not even aware of are we together the bible talks about jesus one day he entered into the temple and he saw people making merchandise of his father's temple you know what jesus did he went out as if he was going out of the temple the bible says he got a whip and he came and began to flog them and threw the 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 table of the money changers and he said the house of my father should be a place of prayer and you have turned it into a den of robbers look at that kind of zeal overturning tables many of you are legal practitioners here if you sue jesus to court how will you judge that case you will say jesus you are not caesar jesus you are not the herod what authority did you have to turn their tables you would have reported them when jesus you need to know why jesus is still interceding for us even though he has died because when he walked as a man and went through the things that men went through he had to go back with his body as a man and even while he was seated everything is done he said i will still intercede in other words that ministry of advocacy he will say father i know exactly what that man of god is going through because when i went to jerusalem i know what it means to give people bread and they say crucify him tomorrow that man's anger please do not put it as an offense against him i have an un I, I i understand what it means that's what it means to be a high priest that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmity please listen very carefully and learn it's easy for you to look at a man and say this man is a wicked man harsh to all his children 
until you find out the story of that man's anger you will find out that at 18 that man was one of the most gentle person you will ever find but all the siblings and everybody died and they left him with 30 children to raise all of them that was the origin of that anger the anger was in him but there was nothing to activate it and because it was not dealt with by the strength of the spirit the presence of 30 children versus their school fees and a job that is the the salary keeps declining is what activated that no wonder a couple will get married and a woman will turn and say this is not the man i married let me tell you that's the man you married it's just that what that the activation system when you see a man nice to his wife and say i will never touch you he's talking nonsense if you are speaking by the agency of the spirit you are right but if you mean just because i love you keep watching your heart is listening to you the day that something will happen a man called me one time i think there was a year that the man reached me true story a small boy went to kick a car kick the man's car you know children and all these their things and he just crashed the car through a fence the man was thinking of how to beat and kill this child how do i start it's not whether i would do it i'm thinking of how i'm going to start killing this child so when you are an onlooker you will say what kind of an angry man is this whereas the same thing in him is in you waiting for an opportunity to come out why is this person jealous why is there jealousy among men of god why can't they just walk as one don't worry say you're about to start ministry by the time you start ministry and after 10 years you have only three members you will know why people get angry this is not an issue of good or bad it's an issue of the human nature that has not been examined to be understood when you go to pastors conferences and you see men of god crying the man of god just raises a song of worship and you see a pastor rolling let me tell you why he's rolling he's rolling because after 20 years of ministry he does not even understand himself again he's sitting before the presence of god and saying lord who am i you have to answer me now i thought i knew myself 20 years ago but right now i don't even know who i am again let me tell you sincerely everything you ever see that manifests did not come in it was always there but there is a system god has provided to be able to tame the flesh with understanding not in the strength of the flesh taming the flesh the, in the strength of the flesh is a total waste of time it's like trying to push a wall you are the one who will be tired is someone learning now apostle me i'm a man of integrity what has tested you apostle i don't i don't like with me the kind of grace god gave me if i see women they are like trees <laughs> and men too vice versa even if one billion naira is given to me i won't collect it and your heart is saying is because we have not gone together it's only your mind that has gone that's why your mind refused to collect it let your heart follow your body when you see that money especially when your loved one is in the hospital saying my son is this how you will leave me to die then you will now know why the young lady started following one man for money and mercy will be in your heart you will no longer say all these ladies moving around because you had the privilege of a family that could support you I'm not excusing licentiousness you get my point i'm revealing to you something about the state of man so many people say this guy just became bad or this pastor changed or this businessman changed no you got it wrong in iniquity did my mother conceive me by the time you start a revival you know most people who start ministries maybe fellowships and the rest provided it's a small fellowship where people meet under a tree there's no reason for jealousy and pain and what everybody's just praying so you pray there's no basket to drop offering so there is no thief to pick anything but that does not mean among the prayer warriors there is no thief generational causes 
demons and wicked spirits hiding while you are praying and the day somebody comes and says i want to donate five hundred thousand to this small fellowship someone will say what was judas always bad you are wrong yes the problem is that what was in him do you know the kind of screening he must have gone through to be jesus's treasurer remember jesus prayed all night before he got the disciples and not even peter was given the basket you don't know the kind of offering people gave jesus that's why you are talking a woman who comes to break one year's salary at his feet look at gehazi when gehazi saw what they gave um elisha gehazi went back and said hold on please my master is a stupid man he doesn't know that i work with him even if you don't want must you a king gives you this gift and elisha said was my spirit not with you so jesus looks at nathaniel who just finished criticizing him and hear Jesus' verdict he's an israelite indeed in whom there is no guile how could you say that about that man there are many people today who look like drunkards but let me tell you they are more of stature in terms of the purity of their heart than several people because by their strength they have tried to patch away a lot of evil this is the one that trapped them but there are many people who were born again it was with scripture they came out they came out with their father prophesying on their mother you shall not die that's how they came out and from that day and still in the atmosphere of the anointing only god knows the possibilities that is within their hearts in iniquity did my mother conceive me listen this this revelation bar puts you in a position immediately where the presence of god does not become a church thing again in other words you are saying lord i don't even know the variety of tendencies that are hiding within me apostle i don't drink i will never drink it depends on what was given you before that time is all this this thing that cause ill health and death will you drink it your fear alone will make you look like you are disciplined There are many people who are not disciplined. They are just afraid. And that fear is because of ignorance and low level orientation. By the time you enter a king's palace and see the delicacy that is in a king's palace, you will respect Daniel for saying he will not, he purposed in his heart that he will not corrupt himself with the king's meat. Before you say amen, find out what is the king's meat. Have you seen a king's table before? hallelujah praise the name of the lord the heart of man the nature of man's heart please listen is the biggest limitation to that man's rising and also to the program of god and if you do not understand how to administer this prayer create in me a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within me i give you an assurance i hate to be the bearer of bad a bad news but you'll be surprised a man of god who goes to get charms to do ministry it's easy for you to stand and say all these people serve they get charms until you find out the pressure that is upon him that man will tell you at age 15 people vowed that i will never make it and out of that they delved into all kinds of things and now they've messed up their lives with all kinds of superstition and demonic activities nevertheless god's standard will never change are we together to be a friend of god and to access the heal of the lord the bible gives very clear conditions and let me tell you it is not within the power of any man unassisted by the spirit to be able to attain that realm this is the reason why jesus looked at the zealous disciples they went to preach for a few days and they returned back rejoicing remember the story even the devils were subject to us in your name and jesus said what are you going through you've not gone through anything in the course of time trouble started brewing the trouble that started brewing was number one who was the greatest remember the story 
and then somebody the mother of james and john came to now start negotiating a position and the other disciples had it and they were angry you now see all the elements of flesh one day they summoned courage and said jesus listen we have left all to follow you we have respected you enough what is in this for us jesus didn't turn and tell them you are stupid and wicked people mm -mm. He said i know peter who said i love you one moment and jesus is telling him get thee behind me peter and then he said peter satan has desired you didn't even know when he got into your heart to sift you like wheat he said but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when you are converted strengthen your brethren when peter denied jesus christ three times and ran away he went back to fish do you know when jesus resurrected immediately jesus went to the seashore if i'm jesus i'm sure i'll say peter come <laughs> and if you don't come and allow me walk on that water you will know i'm the creator but watch jesus are we together peter came and saw him do you know peter's verdict depart from me i am a sinner an unclean person and jesus said no sit down then he asked a question when they ate fish he said lovest thou me he said peter simon but jonah lovest thou me more than this peter said i love you jesus never said it's a lie he said feed my lamb after he spoke the disciples their blood was hot they were boiling to start evangelism he said tarry don't you leave that upper room if not in two days you will go back remember what happened within three days help them please do not please let me have your attention are we together now tarry 